Connecticut is in a situation where we're facing a $3.7 billion deficit. That means over the past few years, we've been spending more than we've made as a state government. And unfortunately, we have a situation where we need to f close that deficit as quickly as possible. Rather than looking to make the tough decisions on the hard cuts that need to be made to the state budget, the governor has come out with a tax revenue increase that some have said is the largest tax increase in state history. Well, we see a situation where we have a growth in the prog progressive income tax. Right now, people that are making uh, $50,000 are going to see a bump up of 10% in their, in their uh, income tax. And unfortunately, that costs money out of people's pockets. We also see the governor presenting uh, a reduction in the $500 property tax credit. That's real money coming out of our people's pockets that go right into the government coffers to continue their spending spree. Well, I came here to Hartford to try to make it so that middle class families in our district can make ends meet and prosper. Unfortunately, right now we're seeing a situation where we're seeing an expansion of government. Our deficit sits at $3.7 billion. That's with a $19.3 billion uh, budget for this past biennial. Unfortunately, the governor is asking to increase the spending to $19.7 billion and then over $20 billion a year from now. Unfortunately, that's not acceptable. We need to cut the spending now so that we can lower the deficit and make sure that the middle income families in our state can keep the money in their pocket.